What's up, what's up everyone? In this video, I'm going to walk through the very simple steps to create an assistant in the OpenAI platform. This is something that you can use to create any assistant for your use case at your work or in your business. Let's go ahead and jump into this. Please like and subscribe to the channel. And welcome back. So if you do not have a OpenAI platform account, you will go to platform.openai.com and you will click on the sign up button. And this will take you over here to be able to sign up either with the email address or you can log in with Google, Microsoft or Apple accounts, which is great. Since I have an account, I'm going to go ahead and log in. All right. So after you log in, there's going to be on the left hand side, a section called assistance. And this is where you'll see all of your different assistants here. So I have quite a bit of assistance that I've made over the last year. But for the purpose of this video, I have a very specific use case. I want to create a sales GPT, like a sales script GPT that will help me work with like our leads and our kind of potential deals coming in for my company. So when you create an assistant, you come up over here and click on create. And this is where you are going to like title the name of the assistant. So I'll do sales script GPT. You are an expert sales person trained on the sales style of Zig Ziglar. So I just started with something simple like this. Now what you want to do in this situation is actually use even potentially chat GPT to create a prompt for these instructions here. Let's go ahead and give that a shot. So I'm going to come here into chat GPT. I'm going to run GPT four with the newest model and I'm going to say I'm creating a custom GPT and I want you to help me make the prompt. And then I pasted, yeah, the information that I just wrote. So expert salesperson trained in the sales style of Zig Ziglar. Your role is to assist in creating sales scripts and strategies to close deals. You'll receive information. Using this information, you'll craft persuasive sales scripts. Yes, this is very good. So now I like this script, this prompt. So I'm going to go ahead and take this. And I'm going to come back here into the assistant side of things. And then I'll use the GPT-4. So you want to add in your instructions, this prompt, you want to be very specific, and then you want to choose your model that you want to use file search. If there are documents that you want to upload about like your sales style. Um, so in my case, what I've done for a lot of assistants is I'll make like a knowledge base doc of my company and my ideal kind of clients or customers. And I'll upload that here into the files to be able to reference for that. So it's really important to do that. Code interpreter, if you are using the code like editor ability in here, if you want to write or run code, you want the assistant to do that. Um, you can turn that on. Functions lets you describe like custom functions of your app or external APIs to the assistant. So this gets into a lot of like technical ability that this can do. But yeah, you can actually use this to reference other like assistance or other API information. You can do the model configuration as a JSON object. So the model response will be in like a JSON format. So if you're doing like assistance and are only using things for code or code output, that's really good. You can adjust the temperature. So this controls the randomness lower results in less random completions. Top P controls the diversity of the nucleus sampling. So it means like basically a bunch of options are considered. Usually I just leave it 
on the default settings and it, yeah it's pretty pretty good to use and that's pretty much all the information you need to know to get started so when you're ready to test your assistant that you just made here in the OpenAI playground platform you can click on this option for playground and then this will bring you over here on the upper left hand side playground and assistance and now it has your information of the sales script gpt and we can actually chat with this all right so i have another company i'm working with and i wanted to create like a sales script approach for their target audience which is business owners so I'm going to say here, here's information about our target audience. We'll create a sales script for this audience based on these details. And I'll paste it in and then I'll run it. So in this case, um, I have like very detailed information on like identify and engage business owners earning more than 150000 a year, struggling with work-life balance. So yeah, there's a lot of details here that I'm putting in. Now it's giving, yeah, a sales script here. So, hi, it's great to speak with you. I understand that as a business owner, particularly one earning over 150K a year, you're juggling a lot of responsibilities, not just in your business, but also your personal life. When it uh, comes time to spending quality time with your family, you're obviously doing well in business, but I find that many successful business owners like you are striving for a better work-life balance. The struggle, yeah, so this is pretty good. Um, it looks like uh, it gave like a very specific script of like a potential flow of what that conversation is going to look like. Yeah, so the this particular business offers like a membership system um, to uh, these business entrepreneurs who are struggling with like work work life balance. So this is pretty good though. I'm impressed with this. So I asked here, how would um, you recommend creating a very targeted audience for my business so I can focus on quality sales and leads conversations. And yeah, it's pretty interesting here. Like define your ideal customer profile, your psychographics, their pain points. If you have a CRM, you can obviously use that, market research tools. So there you have it. There's a simple getting started uh, tutorial on how to use the open uh, AI assistance here. Now, why would you want to use this if you don't want to give all of your information into like chat GPT and you want to have like a private place for conversation or data processing, you can rec you can use this. Now, the other reason I like to use it is because we actually integrate these assistance uh, APIs into a bunch of other chatbots and different experiences like one example we're working with a military veteran company and we have like a custom chatbot an ai chatbot that is an assistant but it processes all the information and talks with the users in their community so yeah there's a lot of potential that you can have uh, with this kind of system you can connect custom databases to store like conversation history from this so this is kind of just the tip of the iceberg. But yeah, I'm curious if you guys want to drop any questions about using assistance or open AI assistance down in the comment section below. I'd be glad to help answer any of them. Uh, my company at Catalyst Brand Group, we do a lot of software uh, development, AI software development for companies all around the world. So if you're interested in chatbots or like building out these kind of tools for your business, your organization or your work, uh, I do uh, coaching calls as well on like how to integrate AI into your business. Uh, so if, if that's of interest, again, drop a comment below or feel free to reach out to me uh, with my uh, email connected here to the YouTube channel. Uh, thank you so much for tuning in. Please remember to smash uh, that subscribe button because uh, it helps support me making other awesome content like this. And you definitely don't want to miss uh, any other upcoming videos where I unpack more AI tech, do a lot of reviews and educational content here on the channel as well. So thank you so much for tuning in. Please remember to keep moving forward and I will connect with you next time. Bye-bye.